This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I load in a background image into ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a knife model here loaded in. And so the question is referring to loading a background image behind the model here onto the canvas. So say I want to put a logo right here, or maybe display some reference images, and have that live in the background of ZBrush while I sculpt on my model. So how can I go by doing that? So to start off, first we want to get the exact dimensions of our canvas here. And this is going to allow us to create an image that is going to be the proper ratio and proper size so we can load that into ZBrush. So I'm going to navigate up here to the document panel up here, and I'm going to locate this new document button right here. Now this new document is going to create a new canvas inside of ZBrush. Now directly next to this button there is a W size option. Now when this W size option is active, when you click new document, it's going to generate a canvas that's going to fit precisely into this space. So I'm going to come over here to document and I'm just going to click new canvas. And it's going to ask you if you would like to save changes, we're just going to say no. And now I have a new canvas generated that fits exactly into my ZBrush interface. So if I go to document again, you're going to see that my width and height of the canvas here is now 1550 by 945. So now I can export this out by just simply clicking this button here, and then I can edit this image here, so I'm getting the precise ratio and the precise pixels related to the ZBrush interface. So I have a few of these created, so here are some of the backdrops I've created here. And I just want to now load these into ZBrush. So I'm going to first come over here and select the flat color material. Now when you load in a document backdrop, it's going to also apply any current material you have selected. So by selecting the flat color option, it's going to make sure you just bring that backdrop in with flat color, which is going to give you the color you probably want for your background. Next, I'm going to go back to the document tab here, and I'm going to click this import button. Now when you click import, now I'm just going to select one of the backdrops. I'm going to select this backdrop 01 here, and then just open that up. And you're now going to see that that image is now loaded into ZBrush here. So I have this as my background inside my canvas. Now the next thing you need to do before you switch back to your model, is you want to come up to this layer palette over here, and you want to click create. So this is going to allow you to have that background image stored on one layer, and then you can have your model on a second layer. So this is going to give you the flexibility to change this background image on the fly and then focus purely on your models on the second layer. So now this layer 2 is created, you just want to make sure it's highlighted. Now I want to switch back to the matte cap, not the flat gray color there, and then make sure I have my model selected, and then simply draw that out. Now after it's drawn out, just want to go into edit mode, and now you can rotate around and do whatever you want to your model here and that background image is going to live in the back there. Now let's say I want to switch the backdrop. So I'm going to come over here and change my material to that flat color again. I'm going to go back to Layer. I'm going to select Layer 1. And then I'm going to go to Document and go to Import. And then load in the second backdrop, which is going to load like this. Now I go back to Layer, select Layer 2 again, switch my material back to matte cap gray, clear the canvas, and draw my knife blade out. And now I have this as my backdrop. So this is giving you a lot of freedom here. You can switch this backdrop all over the place and change it to what you like. If you want to use it for reference images, you can just do that same thing. So switching back to flat color, going back to that layer, going to layer one, doing that import option again. I'm going to grab this number three here. Go back to layer two. Switch back to my material gray. Clear the canvas by hitting control and N. And then draw my knife blade out and go to edit mode. Now I have that as reference loaded in, and I can continue to sculpt and modify my model. Now this backdrop here will save if you save a ZPR file. So if I come over here to go File, Save As, I can save this as a ZPR file, and it's going to remember these layers here. So next time you can just come through and have these backgrounds already set up with that layer system, and then you just proceed to load whatever model you want and continue sculpting on it like normal. Now I'm just going to reset ZBrush here quick and show you a second option. So if you don't want to mess with the layer system over here to generate a background image, you can also use Image Plane. So if you navigate up here to the texture palette, down at the bottom there is an Image Plane option. 
And here you have a single button that says load image. So I'm just going to come through here and click on the load image button. And now I'm going to select the backdrop I want. So this backdrop image here. And after you load this in, the process is going to automate placing that image into the background behind your model. So now I have my knife here in front of that background image. And now I can continue sculpting like normal. So those are two options to allow you to generate a background image inside a ZBrush on the canvas and then sculpt on your model in front of it. So if you have any other additional questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.